I had the feeling that my last few videos filmed inside were kind of boring. So I'm going to do a really exciting topic today. Surface preparation. Yeah, surface preparation is very important because hardness testing is a surface based test. The indenter is going down into the metal and anything that's in between the metal and the indenter is going to affect the reading. So I took a old used up test block and don't use your test block like this, but I left it outside. So it's, it's got a little rusty. I can't test on this because I'd be testing the rust. Same thing goes for coatings or paint, oils, grease, dirt, anything that's on the surface is going to interfere with the test. So what makes this exciting is not the rust, it's power tools. So on the power tool, it's just a battery powered angle grinder and I have a uh, flapper wheel, 120 grit, which generally gives a good enough surface preparation for most hardness testing. Important to have a flapper wheel because you don't want to overheat the surface of the metal that you're cleaning off, and a flapper wheel tends to uh, self-cool. So uh, now, safety first, I'm gonna grind that surface. When you're preparing the surface, you'll notice you get a, a tendency of, of lines uh, that go in line with the way the abrasive is going. So it's important to do a little crosshatch pattern just to even things out and make sure you uh, try and eliminate any waviness that's going to happen there. And there you go. Nice surface ready for hardness testing. So I've done my surface preparation. Right, we can see it there, it looks good, right? But how do I know that it's the right surface finish? Every probe has a different specification. So uh, I don't carry a surface profile gauge in, in, the, in the field. So we have the next best thing. We have a surface roughness comparator plate. So this gives you a nice tactile and visual uh, confirmation. And it's small enough, it fits in the pocket, and you can put it right on the surface of what you're gonna test. So now you can just run your finger and say, okay, yep, my surface is better than the minimum requirement on this comparator plate. I have a good surface preparation. Now I know I can have confidence I'm going to get accurate hardness readings.